Hello, my name is Aaron Fields, and this is another video um, of old software exploitation uh, for my advanced network hacking class with Dr. Inga Bretson. Um, so tonight we're taking advantage of another Stack Overflow in War FTP uh, version 1.65. Uh, so the first thing I did was write an FTP fuzzer. Um, I think it turned out all right, although I'm sure there's probably some glaring errors in it um, that I haven't noticed. But basically, I just took a 8,000 byte buffer from Metasploit's pattern create Ruby script and just send chunks of that in incrementing lengths to each of, um, or using each of the FTP commands that uh, take uh, user input. Um, and so, yeah, I'll just shoot this off real quick. So we can find the actual vulnerability. I set a timeout of two seconds, or I should say a sleep of two seconds between each command that it sends, because I noticed that if you just let it rip, you can't actually tell which command triggered, um, uh, an error in war FTP just because it's flying through too fast. So right here we see that the username uh, overwrote EIP. So that's cool because now we can take that value over to our hex to ASCII converter, um, right flip the bytes around, uh, get the value of AQ0A. We can plug that um, back into the pattern offset script, and we'll get a value of 480 bytes. And so, right, it's EIP is 480 bytes away from wherever our input starts in the program. Um, so, this is our exploit Python script. Um, the shellcode we're sending is a reverse TCP interpreter. Uh, shellcode. Uh, I generated it using this command, um, and obviously bad characters are gonna give you a hard time. Um, I got it to work by putting in those bad characters. Um, obviously, you don't want any null bytes. You don't want any um, line feeds or carriage returns. And I found online, I kind of cheated, somebody else um, did not allow the hex character 40, um, or they said that was a bad character. Um, and I also, just, just because I was debugging and I didn't want to uh, accidentally trigger um, a breakpoint, I excluded the hex character CC um, from my shellcode as well. So we can fire up a handler. While that's starting up, we can restart our server. Right, and we can fire off the exploit. Alright, there's our shell. I don't know interpreter commands. Oh well. Um so yeah, pretty simple exploit. Um, a lot like the ones in my previous videos. Um, you just send it a buffer of 480 uh, bytes until you overwrite EIP. This is an address to a jump ESP um, because again our buffer shows up at the stack pointer. Um, and so jump ESP just jumps us over into a short little knob sled of 12 bytes and then after that we've got our shellcode. Um, 
So yeah, that's that. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.